Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don of AhmedDon.com. Today I'll have another episode of Boating Tips and Tricks video and I'll talk about boating license and a few things you need to know about PCOC. If this is your first time or a bit visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel for you. If you're looking for more boating videos, there'll be links in the description box below. And stay until the end of the video for a pro tip, which is from my own experience. What is a boating license? In Canada, the terms boating license, boat operator card, or boater card refers to PCOC, which stands for Pleasure Craft Operator Card. A PCOC is, it looks like a driver's license or credit card, and it is the same, you know, it has the same thickness and made of the same material as a credit card and it kind of looks like a driver's license except it doesn't have an expiration date. Who requires to carry a PCOC? Any persons operating a powered watercraft on any Canadian waters require to carry a PCOC. The term uh, powered watercraft means that any watercraft which has any kind of motor. So as long as your watercraft has an electric motor or any type of motor, you have to carry a PC. OC and this is the law in all Canadian provinces. How to get PCOC? There are two aspects of it. You have to finish an online course provided by Transport Canada accredited course providers and once you finish this course you have to take uh, the PCSC exam which is provided by Transport Canada but uh, you're going to get a link from your course provider and usually it's under one package uh, both the course and the actual exam. How much does it cost to get PCOC? So if you search online and get PCOC, you're going to come up with many results. So there are many uh, course providers which can give you the PCSC and they're all accredited by Transport Canada. And the prices range from $20 to $50 and some of them give only one attempt of the exam and some of them would give you like, you know, uh, as, as many attempts as you need. So whenever you're purchasing the course just make sure that you know it meets your needs and you're getting the best value because at the end is the same PCOC but there are various charges and they you know let you try different attempts of the actual exam pro tips you can get a PCOC just starting online and taking the exam even without putting a foot on a boat what I recommend is that you know finish the intro to boating or intro to power boating 101 course because this course would uh, teach you how to operate a boat and the basics of the boat which you would definitely require if you'd like to you know drive a boat so taking the PCOC doesn't really mean anything because it doesn't teach you how to power a boat so you can take an intro to boating course anywhere uh, where you know they have uh, they offer this type of course and it's not too expensive so my recommendation before renting any boat is that take this course uh, intro to power boating or intro to boating or intro to boating this type of course where they teach you you know how to operate a boat how to turn how to stop how to park a boat uh, how to reverse a boat and all the basics in to know before you actually rent a boat and start you know exploring otherwise uh, you're going to be in trouble because if you don't know anything and if you just have the license and re renting a boat uh, because the PCOC course and the exam is just about the rules and regulations uh, on water, but it doesn't really anything. Uh, it t it teaches you the basics of uh, like you know the boat uh, elements, but it doesn't actually teach anything about driving a boat. So definitely, my recommendation would be to take the boating course first before stepping a foot on uh, a boat. If you're interested for more boating videos, uh, watch the next video. I'll see you shortly. Thank you.